Welcome back. It is Broken Sword 1 and this is episode 3, part 3. And let's get going. So we are uh we've well what did we do? We just um managed to get an ancient manuscript in the last episode. Uh we're getting some relate relationship thing going on between the two main protagonists. They're being very sassy. Hopefully they stay cool. We did in the ancient manuscript it, it um it had uh like a philosopher's stone kind of thing it was a big cross and then you had the two men on the horse riding it which is a symbol for the knights templar you had a woman uh with three faces in the mirror and then there was a, some dude uh stitching a loom and then in the other one i can't remember top one had a sword a bull and a philosopher's stone the bottom one had a knight with a magical crystal ball that was it all right let's roll Cafe, ba ba da ba da. Let's see if we can find anything new. Oh, it's all it's all done up, isn't it? Uh, oopa. Could go back down there. I don't know why I'm going back down there. But we will find out, I'm sure. I lifted the cover to reveal what smelt like the entrance to a sewer. Just leave the cover off so so um, Nicole can go down it. <laughs> Come on. Quite beautiful though, isn't it? I know it's a sewer, but... Hi there, remember me? Ah, mais oui, Inspector. Have you found him? Who? The man in the sewer. Oh, I'm uh, oh, sifting through the evidence. Mm. Ah, uh, rather you than me, Monsieur. So, uh, uh, when you are not uh, exploring sewers, uh, what do you do? I take a lot of showers. Oh, 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 oh very good, Monsieur. <laughs> a policeman with a sense of. He's not even seen my badge. Just seen a business card. It's Hi there, a... remember me? Who? Huh? Who? I uh, so I Yeah, we've seen oh. this, we see cha 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 cha. Is there anything else nearby? Okay, so we don't need to go in here. Okay, I thought maybe. But I thought wrong. Okay, so we're at the cafe at the moment. We're gonna go to Rue Jerry, whatever that is. Oh, that's Nicole's apartment. Hi, how are you? Oh, hi. Come in, Josh. When do we swap back to her? We've had a lot of George time. Um, what are you doing to Oh, he's yeah? just going to harass her. Oh, not yet. What's the we saw this ball? last time. No, 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 no. We're not harassing her. I have her. to go. Okay. Don't forget to look for Lobino. At, at the ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. I know what you mean. I know. I know. Uh... What did she say? <laughs> right, yeah, that's it. Okay, people, we're at the museum. What's that mean? Oh, we have two ways to go. Oh, that's probably leave. Okay. What we have here is a very romantic statue. A... Egyptian goddess who is talking to a knight. This guy seems concerned about this conversation. And yeah, we've got a pole, we got a blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool, no worries. Oh, what's this? That rings a bell from something. That's not that magical device they found near Greece, is it? But it was like they thought it was an ancient computer. Who knows? Let's investigate. What's this, Eiffel Tower miniature? In the case was a spindly tripod, blackened with age and pitted with rust. It was identical to the tripod pictured on the manuscript. A, a notice identified it as 15th century from Western Ireland. It had been found in Loch Marne at the site That's of a nice Knights Templar territory. preceptory. Ireland! Yeah. What's that? This tripod was found in Ireland. I will have to ask you to keep your voice down. I'm sorry, I was excited. Yeah, and that tripod is what had um, the crystal on top of it. As I reached toward the display case, a shrill piping filled the air. I froze. 
then tried to get myself together and act nonchalantly. No, monsieur. No. Eh, no. Okay, okay. Pardon me. Oui, monsieur? Are you Labino? Oh, no. Fancy you mistaking me for him. No. I am the deputy custodian. But Labino does work here. Work? I wouldn't go so far as to call it the he studies here most days, but as you can see mm -hmm. for yourself, not today. Okay. Let's talk about not Do you know anything yet. about the Knights of the Temple? No, sir. Not a sausage. The sign on the tripod not a sausage. says it was found at a Templar preceptory. It does? Yeah. It doesn't mention John D at all. Most remiss. You don't know anything about the tripod, do you? No, I don't. I never had much of a start in life, you see. I owe a little education again to my uncle. He was an optician, but he also doubled as the village school teacher. He taught me the alphabet. Wait, 19 letters of it. The That's bottom row of the chart was uh, too small even for him to read, so he left them out. Why don't you start over and enroll for adult education? You know, I never thought of that. Do you think? If I studied art, and did all my homework. I could be a professor of history. At your age? Dream on. Jeez, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? Can you give me any further information about the tripod? Certainly, monsieur. It's infamous. That tripod, that belonged to John D. What's the importance of John D's tripod? D was the most famous escapologist of the 16th century. The Udini of his time. Don't you mean alchemist? Escapologists use ropes, chains, and handcuffs, not tripods. Well, whatever he was, that is the tripod he used in his experiments. What kind of experiments did John D. perform with his tripod? Oh, the usual. Didn't you study chemistry at school? Yeah, but we skipped over thaumatology. Mm, missed out. Can I take a closer look at the tripod? What? Get it out of the case? Ah, uh, no! That tripod is protected by <laughs> a sophisticated surveillance God. system. <laughs> How sophisticated? A painfully loud alarm bell. How mm -hmm. is the alarm bell triggered? By the slightest pressure on or movement of any part of the case wherein that tripod is situated. It strikes me that to call your what? alarm system sophisticated is... Well, stretching the truth a little. It has never failed yet. The sophistication is in its simplicity. Uh, Do you recognize the man in this we're photograph? Very close. No, monsieur. Is there any reason why I should? I guess not. Uh... Do you know anything about medieval manuscripts? Not me, monsieur. I am no scholar. Though people often mistake me for one. It is the uniform, I guess. They see the clothes. They are impressed. And they ask you to park their cars? They ask me to park the... No, no, no. They assume I am an authority on the exhibits in my care. Whereas you know next to nothing about history. Of course not. All I am saying is I am no scholar. Not like Monsieur Lobino. Okay, I think we're Thanks done Thanks for your help. I love this tapestry. Is that like a unicorn and a lion? And then some dude sitting there being like, Yo, you like my trees? Is this the Knights Hospitler? They were like the medic knights. And that in some point of the battles, they, cr they charged in or something. Made a name for himself. I'm not sure. I don't think I should be doing that. I should do it again. Watch out! You will have that. Yeah. Watch out! You... Okay, okay, okay. Is that, it's not Isis, is it? To come. I don't know who, who that one is. That rings a bell there. I don't know. A, a br Bryce, Venus, something like that. I don't know. I wish they'd name them. You know, like you can run your cursor over and you go, oh, I know what that artifact is. Artifact is. Put it open. Leave it alone. That closet is over 3,000 years old. It's not a closet. <laughs> it's a closet? closet? It's a sarcophagus. 
Okay, I reckon that'd be a good hiding place, you know, if you can get out. Is that a drain pipe? Just walking on over. Walking on over. Ooh la la. I think we've just done something, people. Oh, he's looking. I'm just like looking out the window. Don't worry about it, dude. It's, it's like, it doesn't even mean anything. What's he doing? Oh. It's like that, is it? And that's the way it is. Um, okay. We've run out of stuff. Watch out! You... No, 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 I meant to talk to him. Pardon me, we miss you? Would you like to play with Would my Would you hand? like to shake my hand? Not while I'm on duty, monsieur. It's... Why do they always think that? It's not a thing. Do you recognize this red nose? I don't think so. Back to Nico Nico's. Hi. Poor Nicola. I've been to the crew museum. Did you speak to Labino? No, he wasn't there. Come on, let's swap places. I found the tripod. Where? In the museum. It belonged to the Templars. It was dug up in Ireland at a place called Loch Marne. I have heard of Loch Marne. I read an article about the castle. Take a mm. look for yourself. A popular gossip magazine. You read that rubbish? No, I write it. Professor Nigel Pegram excavating the medieval castle at Loch Marne. That's strange. What? He resigned his chair at Durham University in order to devote his time to the excavation. Not only that, but he cancelled the filming of a fourth series of his popular television program. This site at Loch Marne must be awful important to him. He's a professor of history, Daryl Cuckoo. All the same, I'd like to talk to this Professor Pegram. How do you feel about a trip to Ireland? Disappointed. Huh? That I won't be going. I want to follow up the Belotta case. If you really think Pegram's dam is important, why don't you visit Lochman? On my own? I'm not so sure about that. Where is Ireland exactly? <laughs> Oh. Have you found out any more about the murders? Well, it may be nothing, but both the clan's victims visited Paris earlier this year. When? The second week of July. They were both here at the same time. Did they meet? I don't know, but I can't imagine it was coincidence. Okay. I showed her the card. She was like, no, no, no. Let's take another look at the manuscript. So we're going to look at the manuscript again. Anything interesting, so... There's a guy with a sword and a bull. bull. Between them is a gem supported by a tripod. Okay, that's fine. A knight with a crystal ball. ball. The knight scroll bears a phrase in Latin. Latin. Through my teachings, you will be enlightened. Educator. Look there, two guys on the same horse. I love it when she says that. There's a woman looking at her reflection in a mirror, but the reflection has three hideous faces. There's a guy working on a loom. There we go. You have to click on all five, or he won't let you out. Um, okay. I have to go. Okay, I'll see you later. Jeez. She just kicks me out. Should I talk to her for no reason? She might, she might know something. It's, oh, hi. Sometimes the... The Bonjour, things. Monsieur. How's your girlfriend? She's not my girlfriend. No, we don't like Maybe each other not anymore. yet, but I see your palms entwined in the future. She your girlfriend or your girlfriend? I doubt yeah. it. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? Oh, what a hunk. He's a killer. I can see that. His eyes stay tall. Does this matchbook mean anything to you? No. But I can tell you one thing. There's no such place as the Club Alamout in Paris. In a sense it doesn't exist, or there's nothing quite like it. Can you tell me anything about this security pass? I can tell it doesn't belong to you. How come? Give me some credit. If you're an electrician, I'll eat my anti -renoms. You're a remarkably talented lady. 
Would you like to shake my hand? No, I wouldn't. I can see the future, remember. See you later. That's right, monsieur, you will. Oh my god, can you imagine if she was the arch nemesis of it all? Okay, so I feel like there's nothing at the cat to do at the cafe. The police are a dead end at this point. Isn't it? That's where I am. So I've got to go back to the museum. There's a really large red arrow. And I click on it. And I'm now in Europe. This has just really drastically changed. And then I click on there. A few hours later. I passed the castle on the way into Loch Marne. The castle where Pegram's excavation was located. Oh. Oh. Crazy in it. Is this the first game that they did where they did 3D graphics mi mixing in with the hand drawn 2D backgrounds? I'm not sure if that's true. Maybe it is. Or, no, maybe that's um, Grim Fandango. Ignore me. Right. Should we talk to this cheeky chappy? He's just lounging. Very small. Hi there. Yo, bro. What? What's your name, kid? Who are you calling, kid? Who the hell are you? Oh, uh, I'm. Me. I'm George Stobart, and I'm with the good guys. You're a head case, Mister. A few sandwiches short of a picnic. Cut the crap and tell me your Is name. That actually Liam saying? McGuire. What are you doing, hanging around the bar, McGuire? I'm on the run from me dad. Why? Did you do something bad? I ain't done nothing, boss. You can tell me, kid. Is it your dad? Oh, sir. He drinks every last penny down his evil throat. And there's me poor old mother, bedridden and dying of presumption. I tried to buy her medicine. <laughs> Chopped firewood for father Mahoney till me fingers bled. The old skin flint cheated me too. But I took the pennies he gave me back home. Look, ma, says I. See what your darling son has earned with his own sweat and blood. When suddenly, me dad appears and grabs the loot. I'm off to Dublin every drinking, says he. Watch out till I get back. That's why I runned away. Something in the grin on his face told me he wasn't being strictly truthful. It's Compared very to much him, an Irish young. Huckleberry Finn was a candidate for Altar Boy of the Year. What can you tell me about the castle, McGuire? What do you want to know? Well, can I get inside? No. It's locked up. Does anyone live there? No. Only, what do you want to know? Oh, nothing. You know something about the castle you're not telling me, don't you? No. What is it you're covering up? Is it something you're scared of? I ain't scared of nothing. Have you seen a guy dressed as a clown? Here in Loch Marne? They all dress like clowns. The man I'm looking for is a dangerous psychotic. Jesus. Yeah. It's just like that film I saw. Did this clown see? And he's after this kid who saw him kill a guy. He tries to warn the sheriff. Only no one believes him. Then, while he's in the tub, the clown cuts him up with a chainsaw. My God, that doesn't sound suitable for a kid like you. Who are you calling a kid? I'm 25. Yeah, right. You're not a day over 14. Oh no, it's 25 that I am. Married with a car and three kids. Ten kids if you count the wives. Do you know a man called Pegram? Can you describe him like on the telly in the cop shows? He's an English archaeologist. I know the man you mean if he's the one. Can you tell me where I'd find Pegram? No, I can't because he's not here now. But if I sees him, I'll ask him. Do you know what Pegram was doing in the castle? Digging for buried treasure. Jewels and gold and skeletons. Like in the films. The films? I'll give you one last chance to tell me about the castle. Oh, yeah? And what if I don't? Then I'm taking you back to school. Oh, there's a ghost. It's called the Phantom Aloch Man. You're not telling me you believe in ghosts, are you? Mister, I seen it with me very own eyes last Tuesday night. 
I went up to see what that dig was about. I just reached the top of the wall when I hears this awful noise. What sort of noise? A horrible snuffling and snorting, like O'Brien's pig, only worst. It was coming from inside the castle. Right. Did you find out what was making the noise in the castle? No fear. I just sat there on the wall like Humpty Dumpty. The moon was cracked and greasy like an old dinner plate. The yard was full of shadows. I could have been hiding anything. I would have gone home. But me legs had lost their stuffing. Did you get to see the ghost? Indeed I did. And a fearsome sight it is too. I sat on me ass, waited while the moon went down. Then out it comes from the shadows, all grey and tattered and hunched over like an old bent willow. Then I hears this spluttering and splashing an horrible laughter in the dark. I was so scared. Why, I fell off the bloody wall. I'm sure there's a rational explanation for what you saw at the castle. There is. The bloody place is haunted. Okay. Give me your hand. Get lost. Oh, come on. I just want to show you a little trick. No way, mister. I don't do tricks. Father Mahoney told me I'd burn in hell if I did. I just want to shake your hand, that's Not all. That no way! Trick. Yeah, that definitely went wrong. Have you ever seen this man before? What a slimy character. No, I never seen him. Uh, ever heard of Thomas Merlin? Or the Gruber Electronics Corporation? No. I just wondered, because Ireland has lots of, uh... What you call, uh... Technology you later, companies kid. based okay, there. Mister. Maybe he would have heard of Gruber. Right. Okay, we've chatted to that annoying guy. Alright guys, what we can see here is a shifty fellow with some rope. Shifty fellow in glasses. Someone playing silent music. And a couple of drinkers. Barman's always the first one to talk to. Top of the morning to you. I beg your pardon. Well, that's what you Irish say, isn't it? Do you want something? Or are you just flaunting your xenophobia? Well, I, I was trying to be sociable. <laughs> Is it a room you're after? That's not a bad idea. Do you have a vacancy? I could. If you don't mind waiting until the last guest checks out. No problem. When will that be? When the undertaker comes to collect him. Uh... It's always good to get a drink I'll first. I'll try a glass of beer, please. Get Is it. this your first pint of real ale? Uh, well, I guess so. What's real ale, anyhow? Beer that's brewed from natural ingredients to traditional methods. It Correct. shouldn't be kept under pressure or refrigerated. And finally, it should have a good body and distinctive character. In other words, it's flat good and warm with bits in, and it makes you fall over. Drink it slowly at first, just to get accustomed, and then down it. Do you know a man called Pegram? Indeed I do. Are you a friend of his, by any chance? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I'm just trying to track him down. Me, too. That son of a bitch should be locked away. Did Pegram <laughs> stay here? Yes, Jeez. he did. Six nights plus breakfast. What a bitch. Have you served any, uh, clowns recently? No, you're the first today. <laughs> He's definitely Irish. Okay. Um. Do you recognize this man? No, I don't. What do you want with him? I've got a score to settle. I don't want any trouble in the bar, mister. If it's a fight you're looking for, see Father Mahoney. A priest? A man of the cloth? Sure. And he teaches the boys how to box at the youth club. According to Mahoney, it... Developed character. He Isn't that right, Pat? Didn't he teach you all the art of pugilism? Doyle. Sorry, Michael. I was miles away. What did you say? Ah, never mind. I can't. I know it's not far, far for Ted, but like, I just feel like that's just at the edges. Right. Um. Do you recognise the name on this card? No. 
Should I? Nah, okay. it was a long shot. It really was, wasn't it? There's no point showing rods or anything like that. None of this is going to work. They're not French. They won't know the French club. Look, I gotta be going. Thanks for the beer, though. Is that a map? It was a beer-stained piece of toweling. <sighs> That's so not helpful. Let's talk to this peculiar there. Pecu oh, oh, oh. My name's George. Pleased to meet you, mister. My name's Fitzgerald. You know. Do you know Professor Pegram? He's the archaeologist, isn't he? That's right. Did you work at Professor Pegram's dig? <laughs> what gave you that idea? Alright. Can drink. I get you another drink? Oh, no thank you. I, I shouldn't be drinking at all. I'm on tablets of my nerves. It's more than a pint and I'll pass out. What can Ghosts. you tell me about the castle? There is nothing there. Just an old ruin. How old? I really couldn't tell you. Have you ever explored the castle yourself? I used to play there sometimes, when I was a kid. Then one of the little ones fell off the wall, broke his head and died. We didn't go there anymore. You haven't been up there recently? Broke no. his head. It's just the phrasing of it. I know it's not a funny thing. Oh, that's good. Okay. Um. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, I'm sure I don't know him. Excellent. Uh, Ever seen this towel before? Doesn't it belong on the bar? Very observant, Fitzgerald. Check out this pass. Thomas Merlin? No, never heard of him. Does this matchbook mean anything to you? No. Yeah. See you later. Musician who's silent. He wasn't listening. No. Hello there. Uh, my name's George Stobart. <laughs> Pleased to meet you, I'm sure. Hey, O'Brien. Uh, can I help you? Of course, he's O'Brien. That's a very. Uh, oh yeah. Do you know Sean Fitzgerald? Yes, I do. What you want with him? I want to talk to him about working at the dig. I can't imagine anyone implying Sean Fitzgerald on a dig. He wouldn't know a post hole from his elbow. Should have said asshole. Have you heard of the Phantom? More than that. I've seen it. And let me tell you, it's a dreadful spectacle. So it's not That's... just a local legend. There really is a Phantom of Loch Mar. Oh no. I was talking about the Phantom of the Opera. Well. <laughs> uh, we'll work what can you tell me about the castle, theory. Mr. O'Brien? It's a fine sight now, isn't it? Dates back to the 10th century, oh. you know. Most of the existing building was added much later, of course. Are the ruins open to the public? Oh no, it's much too dangerous. Anyway, there's nothing of interest remaining. Can you tell me about the tripod which was found at the castle? Now there's a bone of contention and controversy. It was dug up by an Englishman of the archaeological persuasion. Who was this Englishman? <laughs> Professor persuasion. Peter, the same man who dug up the gem. The gem. Now that is something we Do need you know to where I can find Pegram? You're too late to meet that fella. Is he dead? Not that. But he's gone from the village. A saw point with our esteemed host, I might add. How can I get into the castle? Well, those walls were built specifically to stop people getting in, Mr. Stobart. But That's I dare nice. say you'll find a way, if you've the will. Do you know where Pegram has gone? I'm sorry, but I don't. He hoped anchor in the dark and shipped out before the dark. Why did he do that? Who knows? A guilty conscience or a secret assignation. Whatever the reason, he'll not be missed in Loch Mar. Maybe now the fuss about the gem has died down. We can get back to now. Why is Pegram's departure upset the landlord? He's lost a paying guest. That's why. More than that, there's the question of an unsettled bill. Poor Michael's seen red over the business, and I don't blame him. Can you tell me more about the landlord? Mick Leary? He's what you call a, a would-be sophisticate. The trouble is, his idea of sophistication extends as far as putting paper in the lavatory. I never worked out why he did that. It's much too dark in there to read. That's true. Have you ever run your hand over the back of the door? The graffiti is written in braille. What is going on? 
What can you tell me about the gem which Pegram found? Now there's a gem which should never have been taken. A man would have to be full of greed to covet that stone. What's your interest in the jewel? You're not a reporter, are you? Uh, no. Oh, no. Thank the Lord for that. Have you ever heard of the Knights Templar? I most certainly have. A remarkable institution. Did you know? They were the originators of our system of credit. Their financial empire stretched from the Atlantic to the Caspian Sea. With bases in so many countries, they had to establish new methods of fiscal transfer. So, the Knights Templar were nothing but a bunch of bankers. I don't get it. And they became Barclays Are you saying Bank. these Templar guys invented bank charges? In a manner of speaking, I suppose they did. What a dirty trick. Didn't anyone try to stop them? Oh, yes. They were arrested, and many were burnt at the stake. Good. They bloody well deserved it, if they were anything like my bank manager. Okay. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? Nope. I've never seen him before. And the card? What can you tell me about this ID pass? Grube Electronics. I've never heard of it. Alright. Goodbye for now. Good. Hi, my name's Stobart, George Stobart. Hello there, mister. What can I do for you? Do you know Professor Pegram? Do I know him? Do I know the good professor himself? No, I don't. I mean, I know who he is, but I don't know him to talk to. Do you know anything about Pegram's excavation? Only that he didn't have the right tools for the job. What he needed was shovels and a JCB. Pegram was digging for historical remains, not coal. Is that a fact? What the hell for? It's the science of archaeology, Pat. Understand that our people used to live by what they've left behind. One day archaeologists might be digging up our remains. Imagine that, Mr. O'Brien. I wonder what they'll find. Well, it won't be arrowheads and beakers. Fast food cartons and flavored condoms, more likely. We're in Ireland. Did anyone from the village work at Pegram's dig? I tried it myself, but that high and mighty history man called me incontinent. What a nerve. Hadn't I dug more holes than the rest of them put together? Incompetent? Do you remember seeing Sean Fitzgerald at the dig? Hmm. Let me see now. I nice. think me brain box needs a spot of lubrication. God's sake. Can I buy you a drink? You most certainly can. Give me a drink for my friend here. Who? Doyle? Has he conned you into buying for him? Shame on you, Patrick. Same again. Just a point this time, Michael. One Same. point of real coming Terrible, up. terrible. Yeah, yeah. Good, good lad, though. Good lad. Do you remember Sean Fitzgerald now? I can picture the scene as if it was only last week. Come to think of it, it was only last week. Fitzgerald was there all right. Him and a bunch of students. He was speaking with the boss man. Shh, dear eyes. Can you tell me anything about the castle on the hill? Oh, I don't know much about anything. You should ask Mr. O'Brien here. He does joined up writing. Would you be one of them history fellows yourself? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. That's right. Not. Professor Stobart, Miskatonic University. Miskatonic. You're geez. an archaeologist. What is this? And you're asking us. There's no Cthulhu involved. Excuse me, Mr. O'Brien. The gentleman was talking to me. How come you didn't leave with the others? I didn't know they'd gone. Oh, yes. Packed their spades and shovels and away they went. Seems I missed all the excitement. What excitement? Okay. Do you mm -hmm. recognize the man in this photograph? It's a handsome mug on that fella, to be sure. Is he a film star? He's not been in a film. Bye for now. Okay. Mr. Fitzgerald? I'll sneeze as soon, aren't I? Doyle told me you definitely worked at the dig. He's seen you there. You might as well admit it. I knew this would happen. I knew I'd get caught. I need to talk to Professor Pegram, no. if he's still alive. No. What do you mean? Is he in danger? Yeah. You too, if I'm right. You're not from the Social Security. Hell no. What makes you think that? Well, uh, I was claiming benefit at the same time I was you working for Pegram. I'm not in a position to make judgments, Sean. That's between you and your conscience. All I want is to talk to Pegram about the gem. But he's not here! I know that. But he left that 
package with you, didn't he? So where did Pegram go? I don't know. I swear it. He came to see me early this morning. Said he was leaving. He asked me to give this package to a guy called Marquet. Show me what's in the package, Sean. I, I can't do that. Why not? I promised the professor. So what? You didn't have any qualms about your benefit scam. So where's the harm in taking a peek inside Pegram's package? That's you don't know these people. I can't. I don't dare. This is your last chance to show me the package, Fitzgerald. I've been patient with you, but now it's time to kick ass. But he'll kill me. Who will? I'm from Paris. Jack Marquet. Pegram told me if I gave him the package unopened, I'd hear no more about it. But if I double-crossed Marquet, I'd be dead. I'll deal with Jacques Marquet. Give the package Jacques. to me. No. Why should I trust here. you? I don't know who to trust anymore. I wish I'd never even heard of the Lockmarn gem. Run away. Hey, I just seen a big red. Get out of here, Maguire. Come back when you're old enough. What's the lad howling about? A big red sports car. Sean Fitzgerald's been run over. Get out! Noisy oh, little no tyke. Maybe you should send out some medicinal brandy, Michael. Oh, yes. And who's going to pay for it? Not me. Me too, neither. Okay, here we go. Where? I was telling the truth about Fitzy, mister. Okay, okay, calm down. Now tell me what happened. When I was standing progress. here, minding me own business, when mm. I saw this beautiful red sports car coming up over the hill. Would you look at that, says I. And I going over to take a closer look. Next thing, Fitzy comes tearing out of the pub and nearly knocks me on the ass. But the car just flies at him. It was too fast for poor old Fitzy, and hit him an awful wallop. He goes flying up on top. Jesus, says I. I thought he was a goner. Next thing, the driver hops out, and I couldn't believe my eyes. He was dressed like a bloody pixie. I pushed the switch it. down, but in doing so, it snapped off in my hand. Yeah. It was impossible to return the switch to its original position. Hilarious. I tugged at the trap door, but it was locked from the inside. Oops. It's not universal tool. Am I trapped at this Irish pub? Okay. Hi, do you speak English? Well, no. Uh, what if I was to say no? An implication of cognizance shrouded in denial. A pretty poser of a paradox indeed. I gave him the look I'd perfected when I was 12 and was going to be the greatest hypnotist of all time. It was a killer. Are you attempting to hypnotize me, or is it the constipation you're suffering? I was a little out of practice. Have you seen Professor Pegram? No, he's packed up and gone. Do you happen to know where? Back in England, I suppose. Did you happen to see a red sports car down on the road? I caught a glimpse of a flash of red on the hill and heard the racket. Sure, it was an awful noise. A sports car, you say? A Ferrari, to be exact. A racing car? And what was it doing here? The poor fella must have been lost. The driver of the Ferrari was involved in an accident. Is that so? Yeah. He knocked somebody down outside the bar. What an idiot! 
How could a thing like that happen? He was traveling too fast. So fast, he ran right under the car? I mean, the car was traveling too fast. But you'd have thought the idiot could have heard it coming. All the weight of that hay on that little trailer. Maybe you know the guy who was hit by the Ferrari. His name is Sean Fitzgerald. Oh, I know him all right. That's me nephew. The idiot responsible for the stacking of my hay cart. Was he killed by the car? Oh, no. <laughs> but he has been abducted. Well, that's a relief now. Aren't you going to look for your nephew? What for? From what you say, it's too late. Well, you can report the matter to the police. Better not. Besides, what could they do? Well, they could mount a search. They have only the one bicycle between them. In a question of superior acceleration, I put me money on the Ferrari. I think you ought to know exactly what Sean has gotten himself into. I'm not sure I want to know. But you're his uncle. His own flesh and blood. You're right. But what can I do? If I'm not here to guard it, some idiot might try to climb the haystack. What a moral dilemma. Into the castle. Stay here and guard this potentially lethal agricultural construction. Or to go off in search of the prodigal nephew, the very man responsible for said hazard. It'll need some thinking about. Why, there's no problem. You're right. Why didn't I think of it before? We'll demolish the haystack. You don't have to demolish the haystack to go look for Sean. I'll stay here in your place and warn anyone who's silly enough to climb it. Marvelous! I think I should start me inquiries in the bar. Well, at least he'll be out of the way for a long time. He strode off in the direction of McDevitt's bar, leaving me to contemplate the stack of hay. Let's climb. The stack of hay stopped short of the top of the wall. Even if I stretched as far as I could, the wall was out of reach. What I needed was a slice or two of Alice's Wonderland. Jump. Oh. Uh. Hold on. I didn't see a hole, a hole in the wall. Again. I inserted the end Step. of the lifting key in the mortarless crack and gave yeah, yeah, it a yeah. firm shove. It remained lodged in the wall, jutting out to form a step. Take the step. I tugged at the lifting key and found it was held quite securely. Go up. Where it? The face of a man. Right, okay, so that's probably the way out. Let's, let's have a look at this before the goat. A sharp stick with a wheel on the end. Oh, uh, the rope by which the goat was tethered had become tangled on the old plowshare. Okay. Do I have a tool? Okay, I can't electrocute him. I didn't really want to. It was just felt I had to. Why is there a goat randomly on top of a castle? Oh, where are we going? Suspicious. Cow. Oh, this is good. This is good. This is good. Okay. All right, calm down. Calm down. All right. What's that? A knight. Barefooted. Templar. Made of Lego. He was. The statue was too heavy to lift. It overbalanced into the sand. Take the sword, I will. As I swung the stone upright, I noticed it had left a pattern of holes in the sand. I... Right. 
I placed my fingers What's in the this? five impressions left by the fallen Cement? stone. It was weird. They fit perfectly. Goes into this. Trying to look there. Is this a cement thing and a trowel? As I dipped my fingers into the soft white powder, I realized what it was. Plaster of Paris. I'd used it in kindergarten to make casts of animal paw prints. I reached into the sack, but it was empty. I reached into the sack contained a fine white powder. It was a handful of plastic. Yep. There you go. Okay, you go over there. If it's just powder, though, is it going to work? Oh. I sprinkled the plaster on the sand until the holes were filled. I. I smoothed the plaster level with the sand. It was my first experience of home improvement. I smoothed the plaster. Uh. What? You can't knock it over again. Not that you'd need to. The patch of sand where the statue had fallen was covered with a dense sprinkling of plaster. So do I need water to turn it? Does the goat have water? No. Nah. I feel like I need to help the goat. His water trough's broken as well. Like, he's just abandoned here. What's this about? Okay. Okay. What's this? Puddle? Pushing with all my strength got me nowhere. They didn't budge. I really need to start working out. Okay, so like. Okay, so. All right. I feel like we need water because there's it doesn't that isn't that what plaster? Hang on, maybe there was something in the cave. Maybe it was all in one place already. Let me just double check. I've got this rag though. I tried in vain to move the panel. Mm -hmm. Did you try hard enough? I reached into the sack, but it was empty. I placed my fingers and thumb into the holes in the wall. Nothing happened. Just before I go back to the pub, I want to make sure. I squeezed the towel as hard as I could, but it was barely damp. Snazzles. I need a damp cloth. Let's transfer. Okay, there's nothing else here. Okay. We know what to do. Okay, okay. What did I pick up? Nothing. The 
plastic cover had been smashed and broken away, revealing a switch. Is there anything I can do about that? Maybe opens this? It was impossible to return the switch to its original position. Okay, no problem. Uh, we're going to try a bunch of random stuff. Okay, whatever. Let's talk to this dude. Oh, there's a beer. I could use a beer. Strain Hi there, old timer. What? Oh my god, he's sneezing on me, man. Nasty cold you've got there. As soon as the words left my lips, I regretted them. Is there such a thing as a cold which isn't nasty? I put the question to Father Mahoney. Father, says I, why were we born to suffer snot? What did he say? He said, it's my reward for being out all night like a sinner. Pious prig. Anyway, this is no ordinary cold. It's the hay fever. Polynosis? Thank you. You're not a policeman, are you? Excuse me? Police. I don't really want no. to make the rag really I'd know it if you were. What's that you're making? It's a necklace, me poco. Oh, sure. Made out of steel wire? <laughs> That's right. A necklace for my pretty one. When my little lover feels it round her slender neck, she'll be mine. All mine. <laughs> <laughs> Dating is different for him. Can you tell me how to get into the castle? Don't even think about it, me poco. Doc Barn Castle is haunted. I know. That's I what know. the kid outside told me, but I don't believe it. Then you're a fool. Ghosts don't bother me. I still want to visit that castle. You can't. It's not open to the public. There's no one around to stop me, is there? That's right. Nothing human, anyhow. Spill the beer. Use the cloth. Have you ever seen the ghost? To be sure. With me very own oh, eyes. They all laugh, mate. They all Can you laugh. describe the ghost? It was horrible. A wee, stunted beast. Long beak. Straggly, flappy wings. Are you sure it wasn't a wild animal? A rabbit or a skunk or something? Skunk? In Lachman? That'll be the day. No. That was a ghost, to be sure. Do you know Pegram, the archaeologist? That's the scrawny fellow who was poking around at the castle, isn't it? No, okay. I don't know him. I think I know what you saw on the castle wall. I know what it's I dope, saw. Isn't it? I don't think so. It was the kid, McGuire. Oh. What? He was up on the wall last Tuesday night. He thought you were the Phantom of Lochmar. Oh! Can I buy you a beer? Very kind, I'm sure. But I don't drink the stuff Leary sells. What's wrong with it? I've seen what it can do. Okay. Could you use this towel? I could. But it wouldn't be much use for anything else. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? I can't tell without my glasses. What does this red nose mean to you? Nothing. You could make use of this tissue. Never use them. Those things are unhygienic. Never a true word said. What does this matchbook mean to you? Nothing. Nothing. Go away and stop bothering me. It's definitely getting to that point. Take a look at this ID card. I don't know anything about it. What do you make of this white powder? Ah! Hair fever! Hey, would you like to shake my... Uh... Yeah, no, we're not I'll see that. you later. No! No! Hey! Hello!
Hello there again, mister. What do you think of this towel? No, there's a fine piece of cloth, if ever I did see one. Such crafts must surely come from linen cupboards and the Vatican itself. Look at this towel. You showed me that before. Excuse me. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, so we will try it some lines. It just so happens I'm an electrician. Check out my credentials. There we go. Well, no. Isn't that marvellous? <laughs> Here's a house bedeviled with faulty wiring of a wayward nature. Here's you, an electric man, with a little plastic card to prove it. Mm. I know, I know. I still want to see what you can do before I let you touch me beer pumps. You can make a start on the glass washer. What did he call me? And when you finish that, will you take a look at the pumps? Sure enough. Sure enough. Let's have a look. Oh, I've got my wire. Right, we've got the wire. I used all my knowledge of electrical engineering to examine the plug. That's too real. Okay. New wire. I replaced the fuse with a piece of wire. I knew it was dangerous, but I was desperate enough to disregard everything I knew about standard safety precautions. Excuse me, Mr. Leary. I fixed your glass washer, no problem. Bingo! And a blessing to all the saints. A free half pint to that man on the house. Now, could you take a look at the beer pumps? Well, I guess so, but I'm not making any promises. If you can't fix them, I'll have a riot on me hands. The pumps are in the cellar, right? That's right. You'll find a flashlight down there somewhere. Okay, okay. Next room, next room. <laughs> A flashlight. I pushed the lever and heard the grating of metal, but nothing appeared to happen. Oh, okay. That's outwards. Okay. There was like, there was nothing to click on. How about this? Can we just open this thing for the lights to come through? Just pulled the handle. Yeah. I lifted the trap door and an overpowering smell of stale beer rose from the cellar below. Correct. I looked down on a stone tiled floor. Way too far to jump. Excuse me. There was a nasty feeling in my guts I usually associated with light opera. It was Khan. What's the problem? Did you see what happened here a few minutes ago? What was that? A man was involved in an unfortunate it's the package accident. Down there. I didn't see anything. What about the boy? Uh, he doesn't know anything either. The kid, well, you know how it is in these rural communities. Not yeah. enough genes to go around. I prayed McGuire had the sense Simpletons. to keep his mouth shut. Was the guy hurt bad? He's been taken care of, but he thinks he dropped a small parcel. You Sounds didn't like happen snake. to find it, did you? If I had, I would have taken it to the police. Of course. Thank you. We were that close. Can you do that? It was impossible. Okay, okay. So if we've done that, then we can just go back down. That let light in. Now I could see. I there spotted Mr. Leary's flashlight easily. We might need that. Then I noticed the a flash of light. Something yeah, sparkling yeah. beneath the Impossible. open trap door. The cristale. The cristale. That's it. Click it. It was Pegram's gem, all right. Mm. A large, uncut blue stone. I guess I was already under its spell. Did you find it? What? Whatever you was looking for. Uh, yeah. Listen, McGuire. I want you to keep this to yourself. No problemo. Just chuck us up a crate of lager. No way. You're not old enough. We can sell it and make some cash. Forget it, kid. I couldn't betray Mr. Leary's trust. I could. For sure. That old misery guts deserves it. 
If you want to do me a favor, keep a lookout for that guy in the suit. Okay. But it'll cost you a pack of the chips. Oh, and shout if you see that Ferrari. Aye, aye, sailors. Fix the pump. The faucet creaked, coughed, and spewed out a stream water. of rusty colored water. I held the towel under the faucet and soaked it with water. I shut off the faucet as tight as I could, but it kept on dripping. Okay. Well, there's nothing else to do. There's no pipes to fix. Okay, let's get out of town. I know what to do. I know what to do. Okay, we're gonna go up there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't know what to do with this goat. It seems really weird that it's there and like it's uninteractable. But that's fine. Okay, so let's get involved with this. Uh la di da. The trickle of water was quickly absorbed by the plaster. Mm. I eased the solid piece of plaster from the sand. Underneath, it had formed a perfect copy of the statue. Of which is probably for. So yeah, I get what you say. Let's do this. The hardened plaster cast fitted snugly into the five matching sockets. There was a soft thud. Then, silence. Silente. We did it. We've done it. Okay, we're going down. Wrap it up. Got the torch as well. Mont Falcon Hanging Man That evening back in Paris Ah, there you go We're back to Paris Cool, alright guys, that's the end of this part um, Obviously there'll be a part 4 after this uh, That was interesting uh, I feel like we've got through Probably at least half of Ireland the island map there very happy with that i don't know if there's any other locations in, uh on europe we're going to go considering there's a map but yeah there you go so that's the end of that video um see you in the next one bye bye